This is a quick run through of how you can add an animated clip to your MetaHuman character inside Sequencer and then change that into control rig keyframes and then add an additive layer. So an extra animation layer on top of that keyframed control rig layer. So why would you want to do that? Here's an example. I've got this crouch animation of this girl crouching and I want to adjust her arm so she's holding a lantern or at least in the position for holding a lantern. So all you need to do is start a new sequence and then drag your MetaHuman blueprint in from the world outliner and then delete the control rigs. So there's going to be two control rigs, a body control rig and a face control rig. Once you've done that, you can then move your mouse over the body line and then there's going to be a plus track button. So click on that and then go up to animation and add the animation in that you want to add to your character. And if you don't have any animations there, that's an entirely different topic. Uh, you need to learn how to do that. That's a whole other thing. But you can retarget animations to MetaHuman pretty easily. OK, so you choose this animation clip and it comes onto the timeline. Then you want to move your mouse over to the body section and right click and choose Bake to Control Rig and then MetaHuman Control Rig. Then in the dialog box that appears, turn off Reduce Keys if it's there, and then click on Bake to Control Rig. OK, so now you'll have lots of keyframes, and that's your animation, and it's working fine. But to add to that animation, another layer on top of that, it's similar to animation layers in Maya, for example, or Motion Builder, then what you need to do is move your mouse over the, just to the right of MetaHuman Control Rig, there's a button that says plus section, and that's actually a drop down. And then choose additive, and that's going to add a additive sublayer. And now if you twirl down your main MetaHuman Control Rig layer, you've now got two sublayers instead of just one. They're both named the same, but that second one down the bottom is an additive layer. But it's not going to work, and the reason is you need to do one more step. You actually need to set the defaults in that second layer, the additive sublayer, to match the first one. And that sounds pretty confusing, but let's go through what you actually literally need to do. So twirl down the global values in your additive subtrack and then scroll down and click to enable leg L FKIK switch and then leg R FKIK switch and you can also click on show body controls enable that uh, that's a good idea too okay now scroll down and find the upper arm L, FK control, and twirl that down and turn on local. Now we do the same thing for the right hand upper arm. So scroll down and find upper arm R, FK control, twirl that down and click to enable local. And one more, <laughs> we need to actually at this point scroll up. We find the head underscore control, twirl that down and again, click to enable it local. Now we can just go back to frame zero and start making changes to the pose. Each time you make a change, you'll want to add a keyframe by either pressing on a keyframe button like I'm doing in the sequencer or press S. Now you can see I'm actually not using the viewport here. I'm changing values inside the sequencer. And that's because I'm not able to actually do anything in the viewport right now. And that happens to me every so often. And to fix that, you need to click on your blueprint inside the world outliner, and then you'll be able to use the viewport again. It's also really important to note that sometimes once you've finished making your additive keyframes, 
there's extra frames that are added to this animation where the character just has bounced back to their standard position standing and that's a problem because if you bake this and then try to loop it it's going to create a problem so i would recommend deleting those extra frames and the way you have to do that is that you have to twill down the first metahuman control rig sub layer so there's three called the same thing you're looking at the second one <laughs> twill that down and delete all of the key frames that are you know the wrong type they're the ones where they're stand where he's just where your character is just standing and then uh, once you've done that it will snap back to the correct duration okay so then right click on body and choose bake animation sequence then choose a name for your animation sequence and click OK. Now just click export to animation sequence. You can now just add that to a new sequence and it will work perfectly.